Hello everyone, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care and today I'm getting ready to install the sit-on mower seat from Ballard. Uh, I've got two of these, I'm going to put one on each of the Z3X mowers. I won't go into a, a big long discussion why we're putting those on there. It's uh, just simply to take some strain off of our feet on the long days in the big properties give us an option to sit down if we want it. Uh, mowers are filthy. We're in week number two of the mowing season, about at the end of the week. And these mowers are nasty, filthy. I actually scraped quite a bit off of them, off of the top of the deck and under the deck because I just changed out the blades. And uh, we've mowed, see first week we mowed 40 properties. This week I think we're probably gonna hit 40 again and then that's going to be our two-week cycle at least at this point but so far this season uh, almost every day I've picked up about two properties I'd say average of one so it hasn't been two every day but it seems like every other day I'll pick up a couple and uh, that's good you know we need that last year I had to stop at about 30 properties a week that's all that I could keep up with with my fire schedule and this week doing it full-time uh, it's been hard because of the rain, but at least I don't have the fire schedule getting in my way. So um, it's rained about every other day, which has made it difficult to keep up. But we're we're staying on track. Today's Friday, my normal maintenance day, and uh, tomorrow's Saturday. We'll have I think five or six more to do tomorrow, and then we'll be done for the week. And uh, if it wasn't for the rain, we would actually have been done yesterday. So. So we're not doing bad, but anyway, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good pile of grass right there, guys. Um, let's say probably 75% of that was under the deck, and that's just because we were mowing in the rain for about four hours today, and it was just a light rain, and then uh, a thunderstorm rolled in, and we had to, we had to hurry up and load up and head home, and I needed to change blades and and do this stuff anyway so we just went ahead and called it a day but before I ramble on for too long let's uh, let's just kind of look through this stuff real quick so there's the mounting hardware kit a couple of uh, or three pins that came with it uh, like I said there's two kits here so I'm just showing you the one you have the uh, the mounting plate with all of the pre-drilled holes we'll see how well that lines up on my mower haven't uh, haven't checked it yet uh, by the way this is the universal kit so they have a kit that's specific for I don't remember what it was I think it was the John Deere standard they have a kit specifically for that and then they have a universal kit that's for everything else so uh, here's the here's the seat the seat actually looks pretty comfortable and it looks like it's good quality We'll see uh, see how well it holds up, but but it ought to do the job. You know, give us the option of sitting down on some bigger properties and kind of take some strain, some pressure off our feet. That's that's pretty much what we're after. So anyway, I'm going to pull out instructions and start assembling one of these, and then I will uh, just kind of take you guys along, probably a step at a time, and uh, so we don't have a, a great big long video but uh, just show you how it all goes together. So let's jump right into it. So here's the first part. You put this, this upright piece into the base plate and you just use the, uh, the single pin down here and that's where it pivots back and forth. And then you use the other pin up on top to set the angle. So the angle's not set yet, it's just on there. The next thing I have to do is figure out the placement of the base plate. So I have it resting up against here right now. It's centered up, back and you know side to side, and my holes almost line up with the holes that are in the platform. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm either going to have to drill the base plate or drill my platform, and I don't want to drill my platform. Plus, there are supports that run underneath the platform that I don't want to get in the way of, and so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to widen this hole out a little bit. I'm going to try 
with the drill press to uh, drill a hole basically right in the side of that and then on this one find where the hole lines up which will be about in there and drill that so I won't be utilizing that hole and I'm going to be moving it back about three quarters of an inch which should be fine but it'll allow me to utilize the holes that are already in the platform so I'm not drilling anything unnecessarily on the mower and you know again this is on a Ferris Z3X so I don't know what other mowers that might match up on probably like the Z2, Z3 or I'm sorry Z2, Z1 would probably match up and then other brands you know I have no idea but uh, but this is what I'm going to do on the Ferris C3X. So I'm going to take the base plates in and get these drilled after I get them marked. And then the other plate, so you have that plate that goes on top. And then you have this plate that goes underneath. So it'll actually go underneath the platform and you'll run the bolts through the, through the top plate, the platform, and then this plate. And that just gives it, you know, extra support, I guess you'd say. It's kind of like a giant washer underneath. So whatever holes I drill in this, see the holes line up. So whatever holes I drill in this, I'll also need to drill in that, uh, in that base plate that goes underneath. So that the base plate will match up with the top plate. So I'll probably just drill those all together actually probably the easiest way to go so the first plate is done I expanded these holes out just a little bit on the side and then brought these holes back and out just a little bit I'll probably put a, uh, a good size washer underneath the bolt heads just to catch more of the plate but um, and I also drilled the base plate at the same time so all the holes will line up and uh, we can go ahead and get this thing bolted down. Before I do that, I'm going to take this one and use it as a pattern for my other one and uh, go ahead and get it drilled as well. All right, I've got it mounted down now. Uh, what I ended up doing was putting the washer on the bottom. So there's the bottom plate and I put the washers on that side because the uh, the nuts on top, they have a, I forget what that's called, but basically it's a washer built into the nuts, so there's no need on the top. And now that's all bolted down nice and solid. And so we're ready to put the rest of it together. And it's not difficult. So, you set the seat in there, and then you use your other pin to set the height. So. So basically all I do need to do now is set the height and the angle and we're ready to go. So let me get that set up real quick and then we'll uh, take a look at it. I've got it all set up where it's comfortable for me. I'll have to check and see if it's comfortable for gauge and you know adjust it up and down. But uh, it looks like it's really close to the pad, but actually when you're when you're standing on the on the mower and the platform goes down. And then it gives you quite a bit of space here. So I will uh, set the camera up. Set the camera up from a side angle so you can. I have to get some video of it for you guys when we're out mowing tomorrow so you can actually kind of see how it works in use but uh, that's pretty nifty one of the main reasons to have a stand on mower other than you know whether or not you like to stand is uh, the space that it saves you inside your trailer and also in tight spaces as you can see this seat doesn't really take up any extra space so so that's gonna work out nice. Um, kinda wish I'd done this last year, honestly, but we weren't mowing, we weren't mowing as much last year as we are this year and will be. So anyway, that's it for now, guys. I'm gonna get this other one on, on the 52. The uh, base plate's 
the way they mount up is exact, exactly the same. And uh, anyway, that's it for now. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Get out there and make some money, and we'll catch you on the next one.